The next set of methods I want to look at with the list are these ones that will allow us to locate items inside of our list. And if you look at this sequence, this list of methods I've made, that sounds kind of weird, the list of methods I've made here, uh, can you tell the difference between them? Like, for example, we have contains, and then we have exists, and then we have find. And when I laid all these out, I was scratching my head saying, wow, that, those all seem to be the exact same method. Why... Why do we have such methods? And then I was poking around and realized, oh, I, I see where they're going with this. I see where they're going with this. My party ages dot contains. When you look at contains, it requires an item to look for. In this case, we're storing ints, but it could be strings or any other type of object that you want to store. Contains takes the item and it will search for that item using the default compare. We'll explore the default compare. Uh, in more detail when we get to the list sorting methods not too far out but for now you can just think of equality that's essentially what the default compare is doing is is hey is this is this value equal to any of them for example if I pass 39 here the list will go through all of its items and if one of those items is equal to the 39 then contains will return true and of course the contains is smart enough to know that once we hit 39 we don't need to keep looking. I always find it interesting when people say, oh, I lost whatever, but I found it. I finally found it. I found it in the last place I looked. Well, of course you found it in the last place you looked. Why would you keep looking after you found it? Anyway, contains is smart enough to <laughs> stop here. At 39, it contains returns a boolean indicating whether the item was found or not. So I could say console right line my party ages. Hey, is there someone here that's 39 years old? Control L, Control V, V. Hey, is there someone here that's 53 years old? Control F5, build that, run that. Yes, we do have a 39 year old, but we do not have a 53 year old at our party. So, how is that any different from exists? If I say my party ages dot exists, you can see that the argument to exists is a predicate. We just saw a predicate in the last video. We saw remove all. A predicate simply a delegate, and and if the delegate returns true then the exists method here will return true. For example, I can be a little bit more flexible. When I say console write line my party ages dot contains, I have to have an exact match. For example, if I'm again looking for people who are seniors, then I could say, well, does it contain someone who's 65? Does it contain someone who's 66? Does it contain someone who's 67? You can see this is going to go on and on forever. Instead, what I can do is say, hey, exists, I can give it a predicate, which is a fancy word for a method that returns true or false. Again, I'll use lambdas here, and I'll say, does there exist anyone, there's a lambda expression, does there exist anyone whose age is greater than 65? I've I guess to be a senior, you have to be greater than or equal to, but now I can just give it a simple predicate, and it will test all the values. I don't have to list them out one at a time, as I had to do with contains. Control F5, obviously... There are people who are senior at our party. If you don't like partying with the senior folks, then maybe you want to avoid the party. But let's look for someone who's extremely senior, maybe greater than or equal to 100. Well, at our party, we don't have anyone whose age is greater than or equal to 100. So we have false return there from exists. So that's the difference between contains and exists. Contains looks for an item using equality, whereas exists will take a predicate. I'll leave it up to you to implement these methods. They're actually very easy to implement. In fact, use the logic I had in the last method with the predicate, passing the predicate in with the remove all, and you got it for the exists method. Let's look at find. Okay, my party ages dot find. How is that different than the other two? Find also takes a predicate, but instead of returning a true or false, it returns the actual item that it found. In this case, we're storing ints. So I can say, hey, find me someone who's greater than 65. And find will stop at the first item. The first person who's greater than 65 is the 88-year-old. So int first senior age gets my party ages dot find me someone who's greater than 65 years old console right line first senior age well, should be 88 because find will pass every one of these to this lambda expression until it hits the first one that returns true control f5 and you can see the first senior age is 88 so that's how find works find all much like find find all 
Control Shift Space. It also takes a predicate, but then it returns a list. So maybe I want more than just one senior. I want to find all the ages of all the seniors that are at our party, which would be 88 and 99 in this case. And in that case, find all returns a list. Come on, hover. Well, you can see to the left, upper left hand corner of that box below my mouse, you can see it's another list of ints. So I'll just say list of int first senior age. I'll say senior ages. And now I'll say uh, for each int senior age in senior ages, console right line senior age, control F5. You can see, hey, we got the 88-year-old and the 99-year-old. Find index, <laughs> a lot like find, but it gives you the index instead of the actual item. It gives you the index, and so you can use the index. Let me, let me just show you here. Find index, control shift space to get IntelliSense up. Again, it takes a predicate, but then it returns the index instead of the actual item. Find last is just like find, except it finds the last occurrence. Thus, we start searching at the end of the list and move our way towards the beginning of the list instead of going from the beginning to the end. One nice thing about lists is that they're considered sequences. They're considered to have a certain order to them. So maybe it's important that we find the last person instead of the first person. Find last index, last index of. Find last index is just like find last, except it re returns the index. We saw the difference here between find and find index. The difference between find last and find last, last index is the same as find and find index, except we're finding the last index instead of the first. Both of these finds take predicates. Last but not least, let's look at these index of methods. I should have listed index of before last index of. Let's come down here and remove all that. I hit control L, 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 L to remove all that. My party ages dot index of. Index of is like contains, except it actually gives us the index. Remember that contains, when I say contains, contains simply returns a Boolean indicating whether the, whether the item is in the list or not. If I want to know the index of that actual item, which more often than not we do, then we say index of, we pass the item that we're looking for. Index of searches for direct equality. It finds the f index of the first item that is equal. For example, if I say 42, 42 is that index 2, 0, 1, 2, so if I say int 42's index, gets my party ages index of 42. Console right line 42, 2's index, control F5, you can see that that is 2. So I actually probably should have covered these index of methods first before all these other ones because these are the ones I usually use and uh, sometimes I have need for these. but. Most importantly, all these methods you'll find that link actually kind of replaces with the extension methods. You can either use these built-in ones on list or you can use the extension methods in link. I think the link versions are a little bit more flexible and dynamic, especially with the way they work. I think in the, let's do one more video after this where I compare these methods to the, their counterparts in link. These methods existed long before link. I want to say about five to seven years before link. But then link came along and realized, you know what? Pretty much every sequence could have all this functionality. Why do we want to repeat the logic in every single sequence or container that we have? Let's just throw it in one. We'll do it in link with extension methods. And so we'll examine that in the next video.